So it's been kind of a scramble mode to, to figure out um, how we get by now um, under, under this pandemic. I got a phone call from my former graduate advisor, Karen Dobos, um, that CSU was running dangerously low on sanitizer and asked if I would be able to help. So a few of us here at the Mycobacteria Research Lab are making hand sanitizer and homemade um, disinfectant wipes because there's a shortage right now and we're trying to provide those to other labs around campus that are doing essential work that can't stop during the outbreak. I know a lot when this um, outbreak happened, a lot of us knew that we're scientists and we could help in some way, we just didn't really know how and we felt a little stuck. So having the opportunity to provide anything to the community to help really makes us feel a lot better. So a barrier to uh, our ability to produce a lot of hand sanitizer is our ability to acquire ethanol, which is a primary ingredient. And um, as you can imagine, breweries have a lot of ethanol available and can produce it in mass. Um, so Charlie, who runs the Gilded Goat, uh, used to work in our lab before he started the brewery. So we reached out to Jason Hevelone at Copper Muse Distillery, who um, produces ethanol as part of his uh, distillation process. So he's providing the ethanol for the hand sanitizer. Um, CSU is providing some of the other ingredients that we need. And then um, Gilded Goat is formulating the batch and doing quality control to make sure it's up to WHO and FDA standards. Um, and then delivering to CSU as much and as often as we can. So we're providing it to the vet teaching hospital, medical centers and housing and dining services. It's nice to be able to uh, stay involved with the university that's given us so much um, and be able to be in a position now to help them out.